As one playthrough is about to end, another one begins. It's Sniper Elite 3 on the PlayStation 4. Now if any of you guys have been with me since the start of this channel, around about there-ish, maybe just after, you'll know that I covered Sniper Elite 2. I thoroughly enjoyed it, I think the majority of you guys did as well. Just thinking about it now, it seems like ages ago, longer than 2-3 years, it seems like a decade ago. But anyway, Sniper Elite has returned to the channel. Let's get going. Most of Europe has been crushed under the Axis boot, forcing an allied retreat. Their supply lines for food and raw materials are crippled. The Suez Canal is a lifeline, connecting Britain with its empire and Middle Eastern oil, making the war in North Africa crucial. As the British and Axis armies face each other across the Libyan-Egypt border, the front line swings like a pendulum across the western desert. A harsh, unforgiving strip of land between the Mediterranean and the Sahara. Mechanized warfare has come of age. Here, tanks are king. I've arrived in Tobruk off a boat filled with replacements and reinforcements. Young men blindly rushing to their deaths. None of them are comfortable having someone like me around. Suits me fine. Most of them won't make it out of here alive. Rommel was kicked out during Operation Crusader. But Axis forces are once again sweeping across the western desert. The Gazala Gallop began with the Allied retreat, and Rommel is at the city's throat. There's no time for tactics. 35,000 of us have one order. Hold to Brook. Here, we're back in Sniper Elite. Obviously, different surroundings now. We're here in Africa. Oh crap, it's all going down. Snipers are needed at the wall, and I'm, you know, I'm just gonna take my time. I'm gonna walk to it. Like an absolute boss. Explosions going off all around me. People scuttering all over the place, trying to defend this place. And I'm there in the middle, walking slowly to my position with a sniper rifle in my hand. And here's my two victims. This guy doing a recon mission there with the binos. And when an empty lung is used, the red diamond indicates pretty much the same as it was in Sniper Elite 2. Light up the shot. Oh, there we go. Here we go. We're going to get the kill cams. Remember this, guys. If you were here for that walkthrough, if you've ever played the game, headshot right between the eyes. Just on the top of the skull there. And out through the other side. Oh, man. That's just brutal. Headshot. We got this guy as well. A bit further away. Let's go for maybe his uh, chest area. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's so beautiful. Just watching the bullet. And then it just slows down. Just under the chin. Oh, it's going into like his shoulder. Maybe a bit, a bit of the ribs, a bit of collarbone, a bit, bit of everything. Shoulder blade. He ain't getting up after that one. Right, let's keep moving then. Go further down. Need to search for more spotters in the area. Oh! Shoot! Oh, that guy just... Whoa! What is going on? See that guy? He, like, disappeared then shot back. We got another guy up on the hillside. Let's go for a testicular shot, shall we? I don't think I've got it, actually. I think it was a bit too high. Yeah, it's a bit too high. <laughs> Everyone seems to go for that on the Sniper Elite. Damn, that's so brutal. So the intestines, bit of the liver, out through the other side, and that's the end of him. Oh man, that's not good. Heavy artillery, we've got to stay low here. 
get behind the sandbags. Got some ammo in there for the Garan. I'm full on it anyway. And here we go. Destroy vehicles by shooting weak spots. Pretty much the same as it was. Sniper Elite 2. So there is the truck. Whoa, look at the bullets flying, man. Should we go for the fuel tank? We'll go for the, uh, the fuel tank. There we go. Line up the shot. Oh, this is going to be epic. Bet you guys weren't expecting this. Absolutely beautiful. Carl's not looking too good here. Bit of shell shock. But we're okay. We can keep moving. Find a route through the mountain pass. So we're gonna explore this place a little bit more. Alright, let's heal ourselves up with the med kit. Whilst we've got the chance. Got a bit of time, nice. And we can pick up one there as well. So the Germans are using Neverweathers, are they? Is that how you pronounce it? Much heavy artillery again. You can see them firing off from both sides here as we make our way up the mountain. We've got to put an end to that. Take a look at the map here. They certainly have improved the uh, the presentation of the game. I'm liking that. All right, here we go. What's around the corner? Loving the sun rays coming through. So you colourful. Me approach if I crouch. So press circle to crouch and hold it to go prone. We'll be needing that. Can we. St we can silently kill this guy by pressing the triangle button. I like how he's landed. He's just going to move his way down the box. <laughs> well, we'll just search his body then. Oh, what a way to land. Or just fall. How about this guy? What's he doing? What you got on you, huh, buddy? You just break his neck. Instead of using that knife and getting all bloody. Search his body. Nothing found? Dude had nothing on him. Let's keep moving My on then. Rod should cover this. Ah, the well rods. Oh man, it's so good to be playing this game again. I remember the well rod. Alright, so we got spotting you, suspicious searching, attacking, and it's full red. Got two ways we could go here then. To the left or we'll take out this guy. His headshot. He's the well rod for the first time. Got three guys in the area. This guy's taking a drink out of his hip flask. I hope it's alcohol in there because once they start firing off the Neverworthers again, it'll be his last drink ever. There we go. Oh, that's such a brutal way to kill him. Oh, are they going to see the body in the corner of their eye? No. They're too busy. They're too busy firing this thing and reloading it to even look behind them. Idiots. Well, we'll wait for them to fire it again. We'll go for a headshot on this guy. He's the well rod. Beautiful. Neville Weathers are down. And we got three more to go. What's in this box? Got some ammo. Some bandages as well. Search his body. We're full on Garand ammo. See, we could have come all the way around there, but we had to take them out. That was our objective. We couldn't just bypass them. A nice little camp set up here. Anyone in that tower? Doesn't look like it. That's the one thing I remember about this um, this game, Sniper Elite, is that missions do seem to go on quite a while. You know, I'm all for that. So what I'll probably do with these videos is maybe split them up for each mission. So maybe for one whole mission... Oh, is there a guy there? No. So maybe for one whole mission I'll do like... There is a guy over there. I'll just mark him up. Keep an eye on him. Don't want him giving me away or getting suspicious or anything. But yeah, anyway, going back to what I was saying, I'll probably just, for one mission, I'll split the videos up. Because I don't want to... Because it takes a, a long time to uh, render out videos if they're, you know, over 25 minutes. And to upload it as well. And I want, I want to get the videos to you guys as quick as possible. 
Now there is a guy in this tent by the looks of it on the minimap. Yeah, there is. He's got his back to us. Bad mistake. And he looked kind of important, even though there wasn't really an objective over him. He looks like some sort of communications officer. So he's out of action. Won't see the light of day again. We'll head up here as well to the top one. Nebel with her. See what we got. See if we could go around the outside. That guy's making his way back over here. He's on like one route, patrolling the area. Hopefully he doesn't find the body of that communications officer that I just took out in the tent. Some sounds are loud enough to mask your shots. Well, <laughs> if you've played Sniper Elite before, you know exactly what that's all about. Or if you've seen my, uh, my previous walkthrough of Sniper Elite 2. Right, there is a guy facing this way, so what we're going to do, we're going to go prone, we're going to go sneaky, get behind the sandbags. We'll mark this guy up as well. Being challenged here big time because I couldn't come up that way. He would have seen me out in the open, so this was the perfect way to come. And this way, get behind the sandbags. So those two are working the, uh, the nebel weather. Nebel weather, <laughs> I'm probably saying it wrong. And this guy's just checking the area, just chilling out, basking in the sun. The North African sun, that is. I'll slowly make my way. There's that guy down below, as you can see. He's come all the way back around here. What I'm going to do then is wait for them to fire that again, that never weather, and then jump up and shoot this guy. Here we go. Yes! No, no, he's seen me! Oh, damn, that was close. Good job. Good job I took him out. Using that sound to mask it. Damn, that was close. Almost gave me away. Same animation again as the guys back there. So we'll headshot. Let's turn around. Head oh, no, I missed him. No. Woo. That was close. He actually pulled out his assault rifle. Just one round from that. And it would have alerted everyone in this area. Alright. Let's get moving then. He's walking pretty slowly over there, so we should be okay. I'm debating whether to actually take him out, whether he's going to be a bit of trouble for me. I don't think so, though. I think we should be okay. Alright, let's mark that guy up. He looks like he's, uh, he's got the potential to patrol around. Yep, he's coming back this way. So how far does he go? Oh, shoot. We should be okay stuck between these barrels and boxes and sandbags. From his vision and the guy over the other side. Right there. He is coming back this way, actually. He shouldn't be able to see me, though. Come on, move, buddy. I'm just going to get down, just to be safe. Don't want to throw the mission away just yet. Well, I don't want to throw it away at all. What am I talking about? Right, he's going back that way. You know what, I've decided I'm going to take this guy out. He's going to cause me a bit of trouble. Especially when I want to come and take the other Nebel Weather out over the other side. And this is what I love about this game as well. You can pick up the bodies and hide them. Oh... Can I not just drop the body? Do I have to throw him? <laughs> kind of disrespectful to the dead there. He's coming back this way again. So he's just patrolling in one small area. So I'm thinking... Have we got... Yes, we've got rocks! Yes! The rocks have made a return. Ah, there's a guy in that tent as well. So maybe if we get his attention over there... He gets the... Yes. Yes. Go on, go check it out. Go check that noise out. He's moving, he's moving. He can't see me, remember? He's just suspicious of the sound of the rock hitting against the wooden crate. Oh, he's jumped over the crate. What the deuce? Why did he do that? Please don't jump over here now. Yes, he's moving forwards. Er ist hier irgendwo. 
Oh man, that's so brutal. Shiv in the night. It, it's a quick way to die, to be fair. But it's such a brutal way to actually go. Alright, and this guy's next. Because I won't I, I need to take this guy out because I won't be able to pass without him seeing me. I'll search his body. What you got on you? Nothing. Oh, we've got some dynamite. Place dynamite with R1 or use R1 to hold and throw. Nice, we'll mark up that guy. I suppose I could have snuck past that guy through here, like going prone and everything, but you know, it's just the start of the game. I want to see what it's like to actually uh, silently kill some of these people. Because I don't remember actually doing this too much on Sniper Elite 2. Going up behind an enemy. It probably was in there. I just don't remember it that much. Right, same procedure. That one's down. We have eliminated the crew. Oh, what's up here? Something's up here. In this tower. Anything? Any collectibles? No? Enter snipe. Oh, seriously? I could have come up here and, and took out that crew down below with the, my sniper. I know I haven't used my sniper that much in this mission. Only had a couple of kills with it. But it's given me that, that option. I like that to be stealthy and just use the well rod instead of using the sniper all the time. Even though it is good to see the kill cam. But there's plenty of time for that. We've got, I'm sure that this game, there's going to be loads of missions and long missions to actually use the sniper rifle. And you guys are going to see that in this playthrough. Oh, shoot. Got one more crew here then. Got one guy that patrols the area. And two guys on the gun again. Okay, let's see if I can... Get up behind this guy. Is he going to turn? He's going to turn around. Stealth kill. For the win. In the neck. And once again. Headshots all around. Beautiful. I love it. Nebelwerfer is neutralized. Might as well check the ridge. You heard it from Carl. Nebelworthers have been neutralized. We've got to go and check the ridge now. You saw it open up after the bombs were dropped. And I can freely run around. Everyone has been taken out. Without me being spotted. Love it. I love that type of gameplay. Just being stealthy. Oh, over the gap. Careful of that. Ghost of Tabrak. <laughs> 